Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome um, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. We are going to do um, a quick walkthrough of the annual conference platform. So you guys can submit questions um, through the chat box or through the Q&A box. Um, throughout the, the webinar, feel free to throw your questions in there and we will get to them as soon as possible. And for sure, by the end, we will do that. So we're gonna walk through um, everything from uploading your profile to how to be interactive on the channels and just talk a little bit about, about what to expect for next week's annual conference. So real quick, I'm Melinda Bikini, Director of Advocacy with the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation and an 11 year survivor of stage four cholangiocarcinoma. And I'm gonna have all my co-presenters introduce ourselves real quick. Um, Allison, go ahead. Hi everyone, I'm Allison Daragon. I am the communication specialist here at CCF. Dawn. Hi all, I'm Dawn Scott. I'm patient advocate here at CCF. Cindy. Hi everyone, really glad to be with you. I'm the volunteer program assistant at CCF. And Rick is behind the scenes there, but I think everyone knows Rick by now because he's on all the webinars. <laughs> we couldn't do it without Rick. He does everything for us. Um, okay, so quickly, I just wanna do an over day, overview of the patient day agenda for next Wednesday, March 31st. We are going to kick things off early that morning, 7 a.m. Mountain Time. There will be a yoga session that you have to register for. So if you go to the website, um, on the agenda, you can register right from there on the yoga session. So go ahead and do that if you wanna get up and do yoga. And then we will start the conference off with a meet and greet activity at 8.30. So it'll be just 30 minutes of trying to get to know who's all on board, where everyone is coming from. We're gonna do a few icebreakers and we're gonna start off with a few giveaways. So make sure you join us. And then throughout the day, there will be plenty of presentations um, advocacy updates, uh, um, updates on treatments from our, our chairs of the conference, lots of discussion throughout the day. And then in the afternoon, we are going to have face-to-face -face breakout sessions. And I think, um, I think one of you guys are gonna talk more about the face-to-face -face breakout sessions. Maybe I'll just say it real quick. And, and there will be further instructions as well. But we're gonna break out into groups based on patients, um, disease type, and on caregivers, whether they're current caregivers or former caregivers. And you guys don't have to do anything because it all was taken care of on your registration. Um, we're gonna be in groups of about 25 and there will be moderators and facilitators, but it'll give us a chance to really have that face-to-face -face connection that so many of you guys missed last year and asked for, for us to try to implement this year. So we're doing our best to do that. So if you haven't signed up for the face-to-face -face breakout sessions, please do, because that gives us an idea of how many groups we need to set up. And I believe you should have received an email if you're already registered for the conference to be able to sign up for those uh, breakout sessions. And if you have any questions about that, let us know and we'll make sure to help you guys get registered for those. Um, and that's a great way to just get to know each other, tell each other um, about yourselves, about your connections, about your story, and hopefully bring that face-to-face patient lounge back to the conference this year. And then we're gonna break for a couple hours after a, a long day of our first patient day, but we're gonna come back and have um, our CCF 15th anniversary pajama party and movie premiere, which we're super excited for. Um, there will be a lot going on, a lot of fun that night. There will be uh, winners announced from the Wear Your Green contest from the lip sync videos um, and from a, a couple other contests that we're gonna put on throughout the evening um, during the PJ party. So put on your best PJs and take some pictures and uh, just think about lullabies and being able to make a good snack and then sit down to uh, watch our 15th anniversary movie premiere. Um, and so I'm gonna just shout out the ingredients for what you'll need ahead of time to make um, your snack because we will have Lauren Rosati and Lisa Crane doing a live cooking demonstration of Calangio Crunch, which consists of um, 
the ingredients I think are going to be put in the chat. Yep, the ingredients are in the chat so you can click on them and print them out later so you can get them ahead of time. So you have them ready for next Wednesday evening. Uh, ingredients are Cheerios, corn checks, vanilla chips, a little bit of vegetable oil, mini pretzels, salted nuts or whatever nut of your choice, M&Ms and pick out the green ones if you want to, or any green food coloring or sprinkles. And I think you can be creative on those ingredients as well. You can use the kind of snacks that you want to put in there. And we will have step-by-step -step instructions to get that prepared so we can have it to munch on during the movie premiere. And then Lauren will be demonstrating the Colangio cooler. Um, and the suggested ingredients for those are kiwi slices, lemonade, limeade, and a splash of carbonated water. And you can do different add-ins of fresh mint or cucumber, sherbet, jalapenos, rosemary. I think you can pretty much be imag imaginative on what you want to add in on that drink as well. Um, some nice garnishes would be kiwi, lime slices, cherries, all that good stuff. Anyway, check out the ingredients in the chat box, print them out so you can get prepared and have those ready ahead of time. Um, I think I covered what I needed to cover for now and I think I'm gonna turn it over to Allison to kind of walk us through the platform. Awesome, thanks Melinda. Um, let me just go ahead and share my screen here real quick. So this is going to be a sneak peek of our platform for the annual conference this year. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Um, and I hope that we can just go over it today. We are gonna kind of quickly go over everything because there is a lot, but I do want to let you guys know that we are going to be filming some tutorial videos with in-depth instructions. And those are gonna be sent out in our Five for Friday communication tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed to our email, visit our website um, and there'll be a little pop-up in the right-hand corner. You can sign up for our email list or those videos will also um, be shared on our social media and YouTube. So um, this webinar is also gonna be recorded so you can go back and reference it. And of course, we'll be answering your questions, but I am really excited to take you through the platform. I do wanna just put one disclaimer out there that our platform is not 100% complete yet. We still have some things that are a work in progress um, and kind of tweaking some last minute things. So if there's anything that I go through today where there's you know things that look maybe missing or not quite filled out, that is why. Um, but don't worry, we'll have everything 100% ready by the time that you guys log in. So um, another thing that I did want to mention is that all of you will be having access to the platform Monday, March 29th at 12 p.m. And how that's going to work is you are going to receive an email at 12 p.m. And that's going to essentially have a magic link and that'll help you to log into the platform. So uh, you'll be able to have access a couple days early to uh, the platforms so that you can kind of play around with it and get familiar with it. But hopefully this will help you with that as well. So um, this is kind of what the homepage looks like when you first walk in. You can see there's a couple of different icons up here. These are just um, important information uh, and I'll go into those a little bit later, but you can see like the digital platforms there, some information about the wear green contrast, our exhibit hall and the activity challenge. So we'll touch on those later. But why I really wanna emphasize um, the home screen is because this is gonna be your main access to watching the virtual conference. So of course we don't have anything live yet right now, but when the conference does go live right here underneath these icons, there's going to be a box that pops up where the live stream of the conference is gonna be. So really nice. Um, what's great about this live stream is that it's continually live. So you don't have to go into specific sessions and click on them. And you know, if the session ends, you don't have to go back and it's gonna be a continuous live stream. Um, if you are exploring different areas of the platform, say you, know, you wanna go into the booth or check out other things, um, your live stream is gonna come down here and um, kind of minimize itself in the right corner. So you're still gonna be able to see it and listen. Um, and of course you can maximize that anytime, but that's a great function too, because it allows you to kind of check out the rest of the platform, but still being able to listen and see the presentations. Um, so next is this live stream tab here. There's nothing here yet, because of course you don't have anything live. Um, but essentially what this live stream tab for is if at any point you exit out of uh, the main live stream, you can go back into the live stream to click on it. 
Um, so next we'll check out the agenda here. Um, mine looks a little bit different. Your agenda is going to be just the days of the conference. And what's great about the agenda is it's going to um, show what day it is. So when it's Wednesday, it's going to be already clicked on the Wednesday agenda, Thursday, Friday, same thing. Um, so you can scroll through here and just check out all of the um, different things, different sessions that are going on in the agenda. And um, these little icons right here with the initials, those are going to be pictures of who's presenting. So that'll be a little bit easier to kind of recognize who's there and just um, be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing there. So um, you can actually go into each session and it'll tell you a little bit about the information, what time it's at and who's speaking. Um, the nice thing about this is it does actually give you the opportunity to bookmark it. So let's say, um, you know, there's certain maybe sessions that you for sure want to make sure that you don't miss. So in my case, if I really was like, I don't want to miss this conference welcome by the chairs, I can click on this bookmark icon. And then if you scroll back down over here in the menu and click on bookmarks, it's going to add that to that. So that's just kind of a great um, asset there if you have specific sessions as you're going through the agenda where you're like, oh, I'm really interested in that, or I want to make sure I don't miss that. Go ahead and just click on that bookmark, and then you can refer to the bookmark session over here and just make sure that, you know, you're like, you can make sure you see what time it's at and make sure that you don't miss it. So that is a great feature there. Um, it does also give you the opportunity to take notes on each um, section. So you can click on the notes and type anything here. And then if you click on this image, you can also include um, any kind of picture that you would like as well. So that's great. And then um, a little bit step further, again, customize this to whatever works best for you, because I know everyone's different. But this save button actually does give you the opportunity to save it to your calendar. So whether that's through um, Outlook or Google Calendar, for example, I'm going to click on the Google Calendar because that's what I use and it'll automatically save. Um, so I chose the meet and greet activity will automatically save it up here. And then um, I can just go ahead and hit save here and that's going to save it to my Google Calendar, which is going to give me an alert. So that's another option as well. If there's certain sessions that you really want to make sure that you see, you can also um, do that as well. Um, so that's our agenda. Be sure to check that out so you can see what sessions are going on and all the other things there. Um, next, I want to click on this speakers tab. So this is all of the speakers that are going to be speaking at the annual conference. And like I mentioned, we're going to have a picture for everyone. So it's not just going to look like a bunch of different icons. So that way you can see with each speaker, you have the opportunity to click on theirs and you can see the different um, sessions that they are speaking in. And again, you can take notes on them um, and bookmark them as well. And then there's gonna be a little bit of information here in their bio, like where their institution is, whether they're a patient or caregiver. So that's basically a directory of all the speakers that will be at the conference. Um, Next is the exhibit hall. So this is going to be our partners and sponsors. And um, each one of these, you can click on them and they actually have a booth. So it, it shares for in this example, um, you can see a little bit more information about what Insight is, their website, where they're located. If you want to connect with them, there's their email um, or their phone number. And then each um, company or organization has included some resources as well. So you can click on their social links, uh, there's videos. And if you click on that, it's going to start targeting the video. FGFR2. Um, so these are great opportunities. And these are also linked to points, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But um, basically, the more uh, boosts that you visit, the more points that you get. So we definitely want to encourage you to check those out. Um, our partners and sponsors do a lot for us. And so definitely check out their resources there. Uh, next item that I want to touch on is the CCF booth. So this is our booth. Um, we've got a bunch of different things in here and we still have some things that are being built out. But this CCF programs, these are going to be all of our different resources. So we've got our Mutations Matter videos, um, Clinical Trial Finder, just different resources for um, different mutations, our Calangio Connect program. Um, and again, if you click on these, it will just start to play the video there, um, which is great. So we'll go back and it does, like I said, it will minimize it there if you want to, if, if not, you can just click exit. So there's some stuff about our fun team, which we'll touch on later. 
Um, I do want to show off the giving tree. Uh, we have to give a shout out to Rick for this because he came, uh, made our vision come to life and it is incredible. So this is our giving tree. Um, it's interactive. So you can actually click on each little branch and it shows you different ways um, that you can help make an impact on cholangiocarcinoma and um, help us support research and different initiatives that we have going on. So you can see all the different um, opportunities that you have to donate to, and it tells you a little bit more about that. As you click on this, you can actually click on that link and it'll take you to that page, share a little bit more about that um, project or initiative, and it goes uh, straight to our donation out. So donation um, page, which is fantastic. So um, this is really great. I love the way that looks. So definitely check this out. And I think this is amazing because um, I know a lot of times we hear people that want to make sure that they give back to, you know, patient education or they want to do specifically research. So there's some really cool opportunities there that you have to help us um, in the fight against cholangiocarcinoma. The next thing I want to touch on here is the activity challenge. So this is where a lot of the fun is going to happen. Um, you can see here that it's gonna first pull up the activity challenge leaderboard. So this is going to show the top 10 people at a time, um, kind of where their ranking is at. And of course, it'll show you where you compare to that as well. And then up here on the top, it shows you the total points that are possible. And down here are all the different ways that you can engage and have fun and participate in our platform. So I won't go through all of these because there's a lot, but as you can see, some of my icons are green and some of them are gray. Essentially what that means, if you have an icon that's gray, that means that you haven't completed that activity or you haven't started it. If um, the icon turns green, that means you've completed it and you're going to earn that badge. So each one of these is a different badge. Ads. You can see there's early bird, profile master, avid reader, social butterfly, and it has a description with how you can participate in that. So for example, let's just take a look at this social butterfly one. Um, it says this badge is earned as five or more private chats are initiated. So the reason that mine is green there is because I've already initiated five or more private chats. So there's some really fun opportunities. There's chat opportunities. We're encouraging you to look at our documents. Um, like I mentioned, when you visit the exhibit booth or posters, you get points for that. Um, there's, you know, coloring pages that you can download, liking our posts, watching our videos. So like I said, I'm not going to go through everything, but this is where all the fun is. So definitely check this out. And the great thing about this is that there's something for everyone. There's a, a dancing part on here if you're into dancing. Um, there's videos to watch. There's simple things like just liking our posts. So a lot of fun ways to participate in our conference there. So check that out. And we'll go into a little bit more detail about the prizes and kind of how that works later here in the meeting. Um, Inside of the activity challenge at the very bottom is the trivia. So each day we're going to have a different trivia with different questions that are related to CCF, related to our industry partners, um, different things kind of like that. So um, it's going to pop up every day for you with a notification to remind you to take it. Um, and it also shows up over here. This is going to be named trivia right now, it's just played, or just named play and win. So I'm just gonna click on this and kind of show you what the trivia will look like. Um, so this is kind of an example, here's the question. Um, and a lot of these are referring to the different companies booths. So this one, this one, for example, is talking about the name of Zymark's investigational therapy. So the great thing about this is maybe you might start the trivia before you've actually looked in the Zymark's booth. Well, what's great about this is you can see right here, it says, check out Zymeworks here. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to Zymeworks booth and you can look through their booth to find that answer. So uh, that's a great tool. So that way you don't have to automatically get that question wrong. You can take a look at their booth and find the answer to that question for the trivia. So let me go back here, um, oops, sorry. So yeah, so that's a little bit about the trivia and I'll just kind of scroll through this and I'm going to take the time to answer it. But at the end, it'll tell you, um, you know, your score and that will go towards your overall points in the activity a challenge. So there's a little sneak peek of our questions. There's some fun ones. So hopefully, you know, your history about CCF. If not, <laughs> take a look at our website and social media to start prepping for that. 
Um, next thing I wanted to touch on is the poster presentations here. So there's two options. One is listed by author and one is listed by poster title. So it's kind of just your preference. The same posters, just kind of depending on how you want it organized. So um, for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the author example. And as you can see, all the different authors are listed here. And um, for example, I'm just going to click on Lipica Goyle here. And you can see um, it shares a little bit information about her poster, um, it has some contact information. And it looks like the poster might not be uploaded yet. So we're working on that. But um, we definitely encourage you to check out all the different posters. There's a lot of um, research that's going on and new studies and new information about cholangiocarcinoma. That's really exciting. Um, and they've worked really hard on those. So those are also linked to points in the activity challenge as well. Um, okay, I'm just gonna keep going along. I know this is a little fast. Like I said, we'll be taking questions at the end and you will be getting early access to this to kind of play around um, in the platform yourself. So let's take a look at these lounges. Um, I know we definitely miss being in person and um, I have actually never been to the conference in person, but I've heard amazing things about it. And I know one of the things that a lot of people miss is the lounges, being able to talk and connect. So we've worked really hard to find research, um, you know, on the best platform that can make us feel as if we're in person as much as possible. So the lounges are a great way to foster connection. Um, and meet other people, meet new people in the conference, re-engage with your friends that you have met through CCF. So there's quite a different, um, quite a couple of different lounges here. So you can see this is the CCF lounge. Um, and each lounge has a little description about what the lounge is and who it's open to. So you can see that this one notices uh, that the lounge is open to all attendees 24 seven during the conference. Oops, and I clicked on that one. Um, and then there are gonna be different lounges that are segmented or targeted to certain people. So for example, this attendee swag, this is going to only be open to those people who were the first 500 to register for the conference who received a swag bag because that's gonna be personal to them. Um, and there's gonna be some uh, few other lounges that will be um, live when our conference starts. So. I think we're going to go into a little further depth um, on that later, but essentially there's going to be a patient specific lounge. So that's going to be open to only patients. There's also going to be a caregiver lounge, which will be only open to caregivers. So there's a lot of really great customization in these lounges and we're going to be fostering just a lot of fun in there. We're going to be sharing pictures. Um, there's going to be a wear green lounge, which we're going to be encouraging everyone to share their wear green contest pictures in there. And how we're going to announce the winner of that is um, whichever couple of pictures get the most likes. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this CCF lounge just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with Facebook, it's pretty similar to a Facebook feed, which is great because it's really engaging. Um, so you can see Melinda, for example, uploaded this picture of the care team. Um, and it's really cool, like Facebook, you can actually like and comment on it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this like. Uh, so really similar to Facebook. And then you can also comment on here. Um, just kind of show you what that looks like. So you'll comment there. You do have the opportunity to add a picture as well. So if you want to do that, you just click on that little paper clip icon there. Um, and then you'll hit post. And then you can see my post just kind of shows up here. So we're really excited about this feature because um, this is going to give us the opportunity to chat, to get to net, get connected. Um, and to me, it really feels like a Facebook, but it's with just our CCF family, our community. So um, there's going to be different posts that will be shared with, um, you know, ways that you can participate in different giveaways. Um, people can connect here. We can answer questions. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of different ways to engage with liking and commenting. Um, Melinda is going to touch base on how to put a post in the lounge, but it's going to be up here. You're going to click on the new post and go through that. So I'll let her show that a little bit later. Um, so yeah, the lounges are going to be really fun. Like I said, there's going to be a few more that are popping up, but each one is just going to have a fun little lounge. This is one for anniversary wishes where people can leave 
um, videos, pictures, comments about, uh, you know, the 15 years that we've celebrated, et cetera. So those will be really fun. Um, and then we do have some opportunities for matchmaking and Dawn is gonna touch on that a little bit later. So I'm not gonna open that one yet. Um, next, let's click on people here. So this is essentially a directory of all the people that um, have registered for the conference here. So kind of a directory. We are working on figuring out if you can search through this directory. So that's a work in progress here, but you can um, click on any of the people in there and um, send messages there and connect with them. So that's really cool. And then uh, it also shows stuff like their Twitter, hand, Twitter handle or any con contact information that they've uploaded in, in their profile. Um, the next thing that I wanna go over here is chats. So this is a really awesome feature that this platform has as well. So um, you can see Rick just sent me a little chat there. I can't believe you knocked me off the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> um, so you can see it's really similar to Facebook as well. So I have those red dots. That means I have unread messages. And this is really great too, because this is all of the people that I've chatted with. So at any time, you know, if you're chatting with someone and then maybe you have to use the restroom or you go on lunch break, at any point you can click on this chat channel and go back and reference um, the people that you've been connecting to. And you can see the history of your conversation if maybe they shared their email or their phone number or anything like that. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you how to send a chat here. And then I'm gonna, um, I'll have Cindy reply back to me um, so that you can kind of see what that notification looks like for me when I get one. So um, as you can see, I typed in Cindy's name, it pulled her up and this is my message. I'm gonna hit this little airplane and that's going to send. Hopefully that worked. I don't know if that did. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh, okay. So as you can see, it popped up here if I'm inside the chat. And if not, it's going to pop up here on the right side. And I can click on that. And it's going to take me to the chat. Um, and you can see the notifications will pull up with how many chats you have. Another really cool feature that I'm really excited about um, is you can also video chat. So I can go ahead and click on this little camera icon and I won't go through this whole process for you, but I'll show you, we'll have to allow your camera and then it'll show me and you'll hit join the call. What's really cool about this is it also gives you the opportunity, you can chat with up to 20 different people in a video chat. So if you're wanting to add other people, you're gonna click on this little eye icon and I can go ahead and add participants. So let's just say for this example, I'm gonna add Rick. So I'll type in Rick's name, click on that. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit this little check mark. And then Rick is invited to our group. So really exciting. I hope you guys will take advantage of that. Um, we are going to have some face-to-face uh, -face break breakout sessions like Melinda mentioned, but this is also another opportunity to reconnect with your friends or connect with people that may be going through the same experience that you have, or maybe you've connected through, um, you know, a certain mutation or a certain type of cholangiocarcinoma. So uh, really exciting there. Um, next up, I'm going to go to contacts. This is kind of similar to um, people and messaging. This is essentially just all the people that you've connected with. So you can kind of see um, who you've connected with. You can click on them to message, take notes. Um, so nothing crazy there. Um, next, we'll just really quickly go over the resources tab. This is not built out right now, but um, as you know, our conference is live and on demand. So if at any point, um, you know, you miss a session or you want to go back and see a session that you were able to miss, all of the videos are going to be um, in this channel here. And we're going to actually rename this to uh, on demand. So all of the videos will be accessed there. And it, I think it takes just a couple of minutes after each session ends for them to show up there. So that's a really great resource too, if at any point, in the day you missed a session um, or want to go back and watch it. And our platform is going to be open through the end of April. Um, so I know there's kind of some Zoom and virtual fatigue. So if you don't get to make the whole conference, don't worry. We're going to have it recorded um, and live in the platform. We're also going to be sharing on our YouTube channel as well. 
Um, okay. And then we have a couple of things here that we're going to clean up. We're going to be deleting meetings, um, notes. This is where any of your notes that you've taken on the different sessions will show up. So, um, that way you have easy access to those. And then, um, we're going to be, sorry, some of these, like I said, are work in progress, but we're also going to be, um, deleting this FAQ. But another thing that I wanted to touch on and probably the last thing that I'll touch on is the support here. So if at any point you're experiencing technical difficulties, not able to view the session or your trivia is not working, you're not able to view a video, whatever it may be, you can go ahead and, um, click on that support tab and it's going to kind of um, show you some suggested ideas of maybe what's going wrong. So you'll fill out that form and um, our team from SpotMe will be in contact with you and help walk you through any problems that you might have. So um, that is a little bit tour of the platform. Um, like I said, it's going to be looking a little bit different once we get it finalized, but there's definitely great opportunities to engage. Um, we've done, like I said, a lot, a lot of research and a lot of behind the scenes work to make this as interactive and fun um, as we can. So we hope that you enjoy it. Um, and I know that was a pretty quick walkthrough of the platform. But like I mentioned, we will be having tutorial videos that you can access. You can re-access this webinar. And if you have any questions, we'll answer them at the end. I was just gonna say, let's, let's catch these few questions real quick. Um, if we've signed up already for breakout sessions, but do not remember which ones were chosen, where can we find what ones we signed up for? Thinking people might have forgotten. So you will be sent a link you guys correct me if i'm wrong but you will be given a specific link for the breakout session that you um, signed up for so you don't have to do anything the link will be sent directly to you and you just click on that link and it'll take you right to where you need to go um lisa uh, lisa wants to know the times are mountain time zone i yes lisa the times all times on the agenda will be mountain time zone okay if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and throw them in the chat and we can get to them as we go through. And I am going to share my screen and walk through. I have not created my profile yet, so I'm going to create it with you guys. We'll see um, how complicated that is for me. <laughs> All right, so I am on my page and this is my profile over to the left. I'm going to click on my name. And you can view your profile, um, has your email address, my name. I need to go in and put all of that together, all that information. But first I wanna add a picture. So I'm just gonna go over and click on the little circle, click on the picture. It's gonna take me to my pictures. And I'm gonna try to find a picture. Yeah, I'll just use this one for now. And there we go, have a picture. I don't know if you can edit that, but you might have to find one where my head's not cut off so much. Um, and then as you're going through the profile, you can just go in and fill in all your information, type it here, job title, all that good stuff, Twitter handle. I think Allison walked you through most of this already, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, now the matchmaking capabilities will be based on what you fill out here, if I'm correct. And I know that um, Dawn is gonna touch on matchmaking, so I will leave that to her. But as you fill in disease type, where you're treated area, caregiver type, all that good stuff, it'll help to make matches throughout the conference of um, other patients and caregivers who have those same that same criteria. Did I miss anything on the profile, you guys? Please jump in. All right, so that was a profile. And then uh, I was gonna demonstrate how to upload a picture to the lounges. I can find the lounges. To home. Lounges. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of matches now. Matches are coming in that I didn't have before. This is great. Okay, so again, Back in the lounges, you click on whichever lounge you want to attend. Um, and then in the CCF lounge, gotta move my Zoom file there. Um, up in the right-hand corner, you're gonna do a new post, write a post, um, however you want it to be. This is 
very simple. And then again, you hit on your little attachment thing. It'll take you to your pictures, whatever you want to upload. Um, I'm going to upload this one. And then you hit post. Very, very simple. This is a patient caregiver gathering in Chicago. And I'm assuming all the other lounges are the same way. Yep. Perfect. All right. Just that if easy, just yeah. like that. <laughs> if I can do it, anyone can do it. Trust me, <laughs> I'm very challenged. Um, okay, so now we're gonna turn it over to Dawn to go over the matchmaking features. Hi everyone, um, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what our screen looks like. I'm not sure how quickly I might match. Um, what you will see, and let me share my screen, which you've seen a little bit of it already on the other ladies. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you're gonna be able to, to do your uh, matchmaking. If you registered as intrahepatic, it should just show as intrahepatic patient matchmaking. You don't, you, you're not likely gonna have all of these choices. I have all of these choices right now because I'm staff. Um, Ron, I'm only seeing a black screen. Is anyone else seeing it or is it just me? Let me try again. Thank you, Melinda, for letting me know that. Let me start again. Is it showing now? No, it's still black on my end. Is anyone else seeing it? Yeah, it's no. black. Yeah, it's black. <sighs> okay, it says I'm screen sharing, but apparently I'm not. Let me try this again. Sorry, guys, I would be the I would be the hiccup in an otherwise very smoothly going presentation. Let's try this. And that's okay, because we've got backups here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you. Nope, still Don't black. Know. Okay. Well, so how about Allison, Cindy, your ice share, and you, you talk us through it? I'm so sorry, you guys. No, that's good. Allison, do you want to share or do you want me to? I can. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want me to just tell me where you want me to go, Don? And I'll... Sure. Let me just. If you want to click on the intrahepatic matchmaking, yours might. Uh... I do want to say to, uh, you know, I already have matches, but um, yeah, that's... your patient matchmaking is going to be customized to you yes. well based off your registration. So caregivers will match with caregivers, patients will match with patients. Um, and based off, you know, if you answered extra hepatic or intrahepatic, that's going to customize that to you. So it's targeted to what you answered in registration. Um, and I can explain a little bit. Yes, you'll see right there. Um, you'll click and you'll, it'll give you three different options for each, um, for each section. So if you're intrahepatic, it'll ask you where you live. And once you identify what your, uh, what your niche or your country is, um, you'll scroll down and then it will further break that down into region, um, which Allison's already identified her region. Then you can click age range and you click send. And it's literally as easy as that. Um, and as I was <laughs> hoping to share on my screen, but, uh, but Allison can explain as well, and you might have seen on hers, um, it's going to already be pre-populated with what your disease type is. Um, and if you're a caregiver, it will have two options. You'll be a caregiver or a bereaved caregiver, um, but there will also be a number of features there that will ask for, again, region, um, which gives you the chance to break it down into state or, or uh, area of the country. It will ask age range. 
it will ask bereaved or non-bereaved. And then if it will ask what type of caregiver you are, if you're a caregiver to, or were a caregiver to a, uh, um, to a spouse or a significant other, to a child, um, to uh, a parent or a sibling or another family member or friend. And all of those factors will allow you to very uh, be specifically matched. And it doesn't mean that you're going to match only with people with those criteria. Um, I've not seen the final work in progress, but it's going to be a, like a percentage. Um, so if I had all of the exact same criteria that Allison does, then she and I might be a you know 95% match or higher. Um, if I have some of, of the criteria, then you're going to match it at a lower percentage. But that doesn't mean that you're precluded from contacting any of those people. Um, nor does that mean you have to contact those, those people. You're not required either way. It's just we wanted to give another way for you to feel like you can reach out and bond with people that may be in your area or may have very specific issues that um, you'd like more support on. And you'll have an opportunity to chat with those people. Um, as you can see, you can look at their profile and look at their information, send them a message. Um, you're, yep, they've already, <laughs> they've already exchanged, uh, exchanged a message. And then just as Allison had shown you, you can video chat up in the corner. Um, and those, this is something that's gonna be experienced every day. And my understanding is that as more and more people populate or enter their information, you're going to continue to matching. It's not a one and done type process. So you're gonna have new matches um, possibly throughout the day. Um, I, I'll learn a little bit more about that. I'm not sure if it happens every little bit, every time someone um, completes a new profile or if it happens uh, at the beginning and end of the day. But regardless, all three days of the conference, you're gonna have new people to connect with. Um, and those folks can become a long-term support system. Um, and we're really excited about this matchmaking. And I'm very sorry that I couldn't show you my screen, but thank you, Allison, for graciously walking me through that through that uh, listing, but it's really that simple. Um, it's not a lot of effort to be connected to folks that um, that really may hit home with you or may hit home for you. So thank you so much again. <laughs> My apologies for the flub all. No worries, awesome, thank you. All right, uh, Cindy, you are up to get us through um, all the fun stuff. Thanks, Melinda. I just wanted to say that um, since the close of our conference last July of 2020, you have all been on our hearts and minds. And I think we were our own worst critics. We really um, thoughtfully planned a platform that we felt you could connect with and that you could collaborate and meet each other. We know that is one thing that we're all missing. We're all craving to be able to connect. Um, and so we hope that you take time to take advantage of these opportunities and chat with one another, video chat, introduce yourself and make some new friends. We're really excited about the opportunities and we have had you in mind as we know um, that is something that we know you would want. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. Everybody seeing that okay? So I am fortunate enough to be a part of the annual conference planning team that works on some of the fun. We know that this conference holds a lot of science, but one of the great things when we come together in Salt Lake City is we always had fun together. And we hope that even though we're digital, we can still connect and have some fun and bring some smiles to your faces. So um, as Allison and uh, Don and Melinda already touched on, we have um, opportunities to meet one another and build new friendships and rekindle old friendships in many of these lounge spaces 
that are targeted to either all attendees or, or excuse me, open to all attendees or targeted to patients only or caregivers only certain mutations. So we hope that you'll take the time to visit those lounge spaces. And as part of the fun, we do have a theme song. Um, Andy Grammer's Don't Give Up On Me is this year's conference theme song. And we have a music video contest going. We have some great prizes. As of yesterday, we have nearly $3,000 worth of prizes and growing to give away. So we hope that you won't be too bashful, that you'll come on the channels, that you'll share pictures with us, that you'll share lip syncs, that you'll upload some video with us and have some fun along the way. On Wednesday, it's our patient day. And as tradition, we like to wear green. So our wear green contest will begin on Wednesday. So be start planning your outfit now. Um, you can upload, there'll be the wear green contest lounge space. And as Melinda and Allison have showed you, it's so easy just to attach your photo and make a comment. You'll be able to see other attendees as they share their pictures and you can vote for your favorite photos. And that is your way of, of sharing your votes for your favorites. And again, wonderful prizes to be able to give away. Another way you can engage in the fun with us is our yoga session, as was mentioned. Wednesday and Friday morning at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. We have an instructor-led yoga class that is free. Uh, it's just registration is only required so you can get the light right link and be in the right space. So it's open to all attendees. It's a beginner level class and comfortable clothes are recommended. We also have in our CCF booth and in the fun team booth, we have some meditation breaks. We know again, this is a scientific conference and at time it can feel heavy and you might just need a 10 minute um, way to uh, give yourself a break and to de-stress um, and be, just be mind, mindful of your mental wellness. So we have videos that you can visit in this booth anytime during the conference that are instructor led, 10 minute relaxation, gratitude and patience are the themes of those mindfulness breaks. So what do these words have in common? Squelch, piano, hogwash, doozy, splatter, and seltzer? Well, we're playing a game called Word Sneak on Wednesday. We've asked all our presenters on Wednesday to sneak in one of these keywords into their presentation. So we hope you put on your best listening ears for these fun keywords and, in, and participate in the fun. Again, Watch for live polling as part of this game, Word Sneak Game. We have some wonderful prizes we wanna give away. As Allison mentioned, as you visit the activity challenge, you can play trivia every day. The questions will be different. We encourage you again to explore the, the platform entirely and earn points and get yourself on the leaderboard. Um, don't be shy to upload your photos and your videos. Again, there'll be a coloring contest in the fun team booth that you can participate in. And again, we want to hear from you. We hope you'll engage with us during the conference. And part of that is there will be live polling going on throughout the conference, um, particularly on Wednesday for patient day. And so to give a demonstration, we wanted to start our giveaways today. We've got two polls that we're gonna be doing. And for those of you that enter the poll, we have some raffle prizes to give away. So Rick, if you wouldn't mind putting up those polling questions for us, we can go and get started. How can you engage with CCF during the annual conference? Q and A sessions, lounges, polling, all of the above. Question number two, what are the ways that you can create personal connection at the annual conference? Face-to-face -face sessions, lounges, matchmaking, or all of the above. So by participating in polling today, you've thrown your hat in the ring for a chance to win a prize. And we similarly, we hope that you'll engage with us in these polls during the conference. We really want to hear from you and what you have to say matters to us. We are excited and look forward to next week. I turn it back over to Melinda for any remaining questions. Awesome, thank you, Cindy. 
Um, all right, you guys, I'm looking through the chat here. If you have any questions, throw them in here and we can get them answered. Um, okay, so if you don't remember if I actually signed up for the breakout sessions or not, how can I find out if I did? If I did not, is it too late to sign up? It is not too late to sign up. And all right, you guys jump in and tell me, but I think you can sign up. Um, she should see that in her agenda if she signed up. And if not, she can let us know. And it is so not when does the sign up. And when does the platform open for everyone on Monday? Yes, Monday, March 29th at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is when every one of you will get access to the platform. And again, just to know how that works, you're going to receive an email from us. And it's going to basically have, I like to call it a magic link inside of that email that will take you directly to the platform. Wonderful. And so once you get in there, you will see on your agenda if you're signed up for the face-to-face uh, breakout sessions. And if you're not, you should be able to sign up from the platform, correct? If not, let us know and we'll make sure we get you signed up. For sure. And links to yoga registration were placed in the chat box. Do we have any other questions? You were a pretty easy group. Um, oh, Cindy, so with the poll, um, are you not going to give us the right answer or we, you're holding us ransom until next week to see if we got it right? I'm not holding you. I'm not <laughs> holding you ransom, but all of the above. And we invite you to participate in all of the above and engage with us. We really look forward to it. And thank you for participating today. Um, okay, and Patrick says, I'm new to the Calandra Car Cinema Foundation. How will I know which breakout sessions I should sign up for? So whether you're a patient or a caregiver, they're, they're broke out from there and you'll have the option as a patient to sign up for uh, the intrahepatic group, the extrahepatic group. Um, I think there's another, I'm trying to remember what all the groups were. And we then they can together yeah. Those okay. together. Yeah. yeah so it'll be it'll be intrahepatic or extrahepatic for, for the patients and then from there it'll be uh, grouped down into groups of 25 of those commonalities and then on the caregivers it will be uh, current caregivers and former caregivers uh, breaking out into those sections as well um donna wants to know who won the poll contest cindy will let us know next week it's to be determined Yes, we're going to pull for those of you that answered, we're pulling winners and we will most likely let you know in the CCF lounge. Okay, perfect. Rick says all sessions run back to back. So there really aren't separate meetings for different groups. Just face-to-face uh, -face is the only breakout session. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll all be available during the conference next week. Um, I would encourage you all to get on Monday and play around, create your profile, start looking around and gaining points and doing as much as possible. Um, and like I said, just reach out to us if you have any questions and we will make sure that we can walk through it together and get you the answers you need. And if there aren't any more questions, um, we will sign off and we all look forward to seeing you next week at the conference. So please join us. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you all so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.